Yo what's going on guys your boy Max here and welcome back to the channel. Now in this video we'll be talking about how you guys can win more arena games in a fortnight and we're basically going to be focusing on the champion division today because that's pretty much the highest division in arena mode that you can get to so the toughest opposition is going to be in there and that's the reason why you are probably looking for this video in the first place. But uh, when you are in lower than division 7 or 8-ish, um, you won't really be coming up against any players who are super good. But do be cautious as it is still possible. Um, and more time you're just going to want to play aggro in those lower divisions to get up to the higher divisions. Uh, it doesn't really matter if you get the win at that stage, but um, getting the win at higher stages, stages in division 7 or 8, um, or even 9 and 10, is going to be way more important and will give you uh, more points that you can actually, you know, just collect up and flex on all of your friends because those points don't really do anything in the end. But uh, when you get to the higher divisions, you should start playing a way more passive uh, than you are right now if you want to, you know, win your games and actually just get more points in your games more often and when you actually want to win more arena mode games in fortnite uh, you should try and actually play for the win it is literally the most obvious thing but there's uh, a lot of stuff that people don't consider when um, they actually say that you know they're gonna go and play for the win so firstly you should pick a quiet landing place um, that has a bunch of loot and is usually uncontested just to minimize your rng a bit and um, come out of uh, the town with guaranteed shield which you know it's never really guaranteed but you know what i mean more or less uh, you're basically always gonna get shield if you looted about 10 chests um, and you know none of them have been contested by anyone else so do pick a you know quiet little hiding uh, hiding <laughs> landing spot um and you know go to it for a few games and if you like it carry on going to it and um if it gives you enough loot then jackpot there you go that's your place um and the second thing that you know you want to be doing if you're playing for the win is not pushing people if it isn't necessary or if you just don't have a clear advantage in the fight so say for example uh someone is you know just below a mountain and you are on that mountain you obviously have a clear advantage you know your opponent is less likely to hit you than you are and you also can rain down with AR shots for as long as you wish and um, just you're pretty much controlling the fight there um, also another thing is if you have like a crazy loadout like say for example you have the mythic drum gun just like unknown army has right here um you're gonna want to challenge those mid game fights actually uh, because you can probably end them quicker and um you know not get stuck in them for too long but otherwise you shouldn't challenge these fights and i repeat you should not challenge these fights because the rng aspect is just so big because any third party um, can pull up on you because the mid game is where everyone usually just rotates to the zone and if they see a massive build battle they're gonna try and spray at you and just break you down so you don't want to be taking those mid game fights unless you absolutely have to or unless you have a clear advantage on your opponent and um, that is something that you just have to keep in mind but anyways the next thing that you always want to be doing is paying close attention to the zone to get the best rotations and um, that kind of you know goes from the previous point that i just made um if you have the best rotation and uh, you make it into the storm before uh, into the zone before your opponents who are probably fighting it out because they don't know that mid game fights are just the most annoying thing um then you're going to be able to set up a nice little base in the you know smaller zone and uh catch people that are coming in from the storm who are weak and um it's just going to grant you free kills basically another thing you want to be doing is prioritizing heals over unnecessary weapons so say for example you don't always need to carry a sniper or an smg you can do with an ar and a shotgun most of the time um and maybe something like a grappler which you know you don't often get in um, these games and you probably won't get the grappler because it will be vaulted next season but 
uh, try to take mobility items so that you can get away from the fight and I do know that mobility has been limited a lot this season and the previous season too uh, at least now you have helicopters actually which I completely forgot about but um, you should carry at least one or two heals one is absolutely just unavoidable but two is probably uh, something that I would go for anyways um, you definitely want to carry at least one and you know that's just a rule of thumb but two is always better than one of course and uh, finally you should just play everything safe make sure that you know you get your heals off in fights and once again just don't be too aggressive and um, maybe even try and make every single fight a box fight as that's probably your best bet of taking a minimal amount of damage uh, because if you're exposing yourself too much and you're taking 50 50s for example then you know first of all you're not always going to win those 50 50s because they are 50 50s they're called 50 50s for a reason guys you you pretty much have the same chance of winning those 50 50s as your opponent but um, you also have a massive chance of losing a ton of health and uh, that's why 50-50s are never un uh, ideal um, and uh, yeah just don't take them if you don't absolutely have to like unless you have nomads or something like that um, and finally the final tip that I'm going to be giving you guys in this video today make sure that there are no distractions around you and uh, this is quite a unique tip compared to everything else because everything else was game related, gameplay related or game related as I was saying um, but I've actually been trying to be a bit unique with my tips recently and um, as, I was, I, as I was saying make sure that there are no distractions around you because uh, even the minor ones could lead to a lot of in-game mistakes and uh, something that I experienced that um, I have to pretty much notice straight away uh, or I will be dying to stupid stuff is the fact that when my curtains are undone I can basically barely see the screen every now and then because the light just shines onto it and um, you know the light reflects off the monitor and uh, you can basically see way worse than you would if the blinds were done uh, so that's something that I do but there are some things that you just can't avoid you know for example if you play in the living room on your TV you can't just tell your parents to get out of the way um, but you can ask you know <laughs> you, can, you can try it uh, say for example you know you're uh, just playing a game of Fortnite and uh, your mom is about to walk by you could just be like I oh stop for a sec and then finish the fight and then let her go through or something like that man um, I know it's a, it's a bit of a you know sort of um, cliche example but you get the point just get rid of any you know distractions that are causing you to die in game and uh, I guarantee that you'll do way better and you'll actually be able to get a lot more wins in arena mode because a lot of people take that stuff seriously and uh, I want you lot to do it the best that you can but anyways, that pretty much wraps up the video and if you have enjoyed or if the video has helped you, then make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel with notifications on to never miss another upload from me ever again. And also make sure to use the code MAXGAMER7 in the Fortnite item store before making any purchases as uh, that will just help me and the channel out greatly and uh, you don't have to spend any actual extra money to you know help out the channel. But yeah, that wraps it up and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.